Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best gaming console in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 4. Xbox Series S The Xbox Series S is a new-gen console that takes a radically different approach. It's designed to offer the same generational leaps as the Xbox Series X, such as high frame rates, ray tracing and super-fast load times, at a considerably lower price, and inevitably, this means it comes with a few key compromises. It has significantly less storage than the Series X, and targets a resolution of 1440p for gaming and upscales to 4K when connected to an Ultra HD display. A couple of titles are capable of native 4K, such as Ori and The Will of the Wisps, but this is a machine designed to run games at a lower resolution. The Xbox Series S also does without the 4K HD Blu-ray drive of the Series X, and while these might be too many compromises for some users, the Xbox Series S is a much cheaper and smaller device as a result and is still capable of playing Xbox Series X games. Games on the Xbox Series S are impressive, with smoother frame rates, increased resolutions and faster load times. Even if they don't look quite as pretty as they do on the Series X due to the lack of 4K output. That said, for gamers who have no qualms about buying games digitally, or subscribing to Xbox Game Pass, you're getting the full suite of next-gen features on Microsoft's cheaper console. The Xbox Series S is a great entry point into next-gen gaming, then, without the sizable financial outlay required to own a full-blown next-gen console.as we've alluded to already, there are drawbacks to consider. If you prefer to purchase games physically, or have amassed a large collection of physical Xbox One games over the years, the Xbox Series S's lack of disk drive may put you off. It's only available with 512GB SSD storage too, there's no higher capacity option. And while this SSD is dramatically faster than the old mechanical drives in the Xbox One X and Xbox One S, it can fill up fast. The other factor that may deter people from buying Microsoft's more affordable Xbox is the fact that outputs at 1440p for gaming. This lower resolution is a firm favorite in the PC gaming space due to the superior image quality it provides over 1080p, and lower amount of graphical grunt it requires, which has allowed Microsoft to create a lower spec machine that still boasts next-gen features. If you own an Xbox One X, the drop to 1440p from native 4K can be noticeable, and the Xbox Series X is the console for you if you're after the outright best image quality possible. That said, because the Xbox One X was able to deliver games like Forza Horizon 4 at 4K 60 frames per second, and is still capable of some sumptuous visuals, it's easy to think the Xbox Series S is a step back, but it's not. Number 3. Xbox Series X The Xbox Series X is the latest and arguably greatest Xbox console. The new Xbox is super fast, surprisingly quiet, and delivers the kind of performance that we've previously only seen from high-end gaming PCs, ensuring that games old and new look and perform better than ever before. The best gaming PCs never come at this price tag for the same specs, and the Xbox Series X manages to pack a lot of power for under $500 £450 $750 Australian dollars. The result is a console that's technically impressive, with drastically reduced load times and significantly improved visual fidelity in games. It also employs numerous quality-of-life features to make your gameplay experience more pleasurable. However, while the Xbox Series X's raw hardware power is hard to deny, and its new time-saving features are certainly welcome, it lacks in some critical areas. The game library isn't quite as enticing as the PS5's, offering few enticing, must-have, exclusives, however, there are some great new Xbox Series X games in the pipeline, like Starfield and Fable, that could change that. Until the release of these blockbusters, to truly get the most out of the Xbox Series X, we advise picking up an Xbox Game Pass subscription. That enables you to access hundreds of games for a monthly fee and definitely helps the Xbox platform stand apart from its competitors. With mobile cloud streaming available as part of Game Pass Ultimate, the Xbox is finally able to offer portability that steps on the toes of the Nintendo Switch. 
The Xbox Series X's backwards compatibility is also a major selling point of the console and it's more comprehensive than what the PS5 can offer, giving access to all previous games on the Xbox platform and making the move to the new generation absolutely seamless. Microsoft's flagship console is as powerful as you'd expect, then, but we'd hold off on buying one until its games library becomes more substantial, unless you're already heavily invested in the Xbox ecosystem or want the best Xbox console experience possible right now. It's one of the absolute best gaming consoles right now. Buy this if you want, you want minimal loading times and smoother gameplay, a great audiovisual multimedia experience, to keep access your older Xbox games and accessories and more control over your storage. Key reads, make sure you check out our full Xbox Series X review and our picks of the best Xbox Series X games. Think it's the console for you? Here's where to buy the Xbox Series X. Number 2. PlayStation 4 Pro Anything the PlayStation 4 can do, the PlayStation 4 Pro can do slightly better. However, the PS4 Pro sits below the PS5 in terms of power and capability. The PlayStation 4 Pro plays all the same games as the standard PlayStation 4, so if you're upgrading you won't have to start your library afresh and you won't need to pay any more for new 4K games either. You may, however, see an improvement in how they look and perform compared to the standard PS4, though they won't look or perform as well as they would on PS5. The PlayStation 4 Pro was the most powerful console in the PlayStation lineup, capable of outputting native and upscaled 4K in games. Even games that released before the Pro which weren't specifically patched can make something of this console's greater power, you'll find images look a little sharper and games will overall run more smoothly, thanks to the PS4 Pro's boost mode. Like the standard PS4, this console has an excellent library of games and some fantastic exclusives as well as PlayStation VR support. The PS4 Pro still has cross-generation games coming to it, like the recent Horizon Forbidden West and the upcoming God of War Ragnarok. Just don't expect this to last. Though it's capable, it's not every game that will output native 4K on the PS4 Pro, Many of them will be upscaled as the console just doesn't have quite the degree of power required to maintain native 4K resolution and run a large game with consistent frame rates. If you want that, then the PS5 is probably a better option. The PS4 Pro also has the same problem as the PS4 in that there isn't good backwards compatibility for previous console generations. There's also no built-in Ultra HD Blu-ray player so if you're looking for a console that will play your physical 4K media, this isn't the one. It will, however, still play standard Blu-rays and DVDs, and can stream in 4K from compatible services. If you don't have a 4K HDR TV and super sharp visuals aren't something that will drastically improve your enjoyment of a game then this console might not actually be worth the extra cash you'll splash on it, particularly if you already own a standard PS4 console. But it is a cheaper gateway to 4K gaming than the PS5. Buy this if you want, native 4K and HDR gaming, PlayStation exclusives, VR gaming, native 4K for under £350 $400. Key reads, check out our full PS4 Pro review as well as our list of the best PS4 Pro games. Think you might make the jump to 4K? These are the best PS4 Pro deals at the moment. Number 1. PlayStation 5 coming in a standard edition or, slightly cheaper, digital edition, the PS5 is Sony's latest PlayStation console, and it's as impressive as you would hope. Sony has reimagined the key parts of the PlayStation experience with the PS5. There's a simpler setup and new well-thought-out user interface, the revolutionary DualSense controller and added bonuses for PS Plus members. The result is a console that feels like a genuine step up from the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro that came before it and we can't help but be impressed. Thanks to titles like Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales and Demon's Souls, the PS5 manages to outshine its next-gen counterpart, the Xbox Series X, when it comes to first-party games, while the PS5 library also boasts plenty of excellent third-party games. There are also plenty of new PS5 games in the pipeline to get us excited about the future. What's more, thanks to backwards compatibility, the PS5 gives access to the best PS4 games, many of which are first-party exclusives. Some also benefit from improvements on PS5, too. That said, 
The PS5's backwards compatibility isn't quite as comprehensive as that offered by the Xbox Series X, which can play titles from every Xbox generation gone by. However, the PS5 is definitely an improvement on what the PS4 offered in terms of backwards compatibility. Overall, the PlayStation 5 feels like a solid investment and we're confident this experience will improve with age. You may feel tempted to run out and buy a 4K 120Hz TV with HDMI 2.1 to take full advantage of the console's peak capabilities. But, even without one, you'll enjoy unbelievably fast load times and a gorgeous new UI that builds on what Sony has done in the past. The PS5 caters to both primed and ready next-gen gamers and tepid PS4 owners looking to dip their toes into the future of gaming, and, for the latter, it's a console that so seamlessly bridges the gap between the last generation and the next that you probably won't need to boot up your PS4 ever again. From big upgrades like the super-fast NVMe SSD and powerful GPU that enable higher frame rates and ray tracing, to subtle touches like the built-in microphone on the DualSense controller that can serve as a quick stand-in for a headset, the PS5 feels like it was built for ease of use as well as pure power. It's one of the absolute best gaming consoles right now. Buy this if you want, a taste of next-gen without losing your PS4 games, you're tired of loading screens and want higher frame rates and you plan on buying a next-generation game console in the next 6 months. Key reads, make sure you check out our full PS5 review and our picks of the best PS5 games. Think it's the console for you? Keep an eye on our PS5 restock updates page to grab yourself one.